Good for basketball season. We're in the middle of high school football playoffs and class 11A on your screen now. Rapid City Christian earned themselves the eighth seed and will face Sioux Falls Christian in the quarterfinals. The Comets lost to the Chargers earlier this season, 41 to 22. In class 11 AA, Spearfish lost its final two games last night to Sturgis, 15 to 10, the week before to Pier. But the Spartans will play Pier again in the 4-5 matchup um, next next Friday on Halloween. In Class 11 AAA, Central is back in the playoffs for the first time in six years. A big win last night against Stevens, 35 to 33, giving themselves the seventh seed. They'll take on Lincoln. St. Thomas Moore is moving on to the Class 11B quarterfinals after an upset win in Groton last night. The Cavs beat the Tigers 40 to 13. They'll face. Mount Vernon Plankenton, who they lost to by a touchdown in week two. So a revenge game for STM. Hill City is in the state quarterfinals for the first time in over two decades. The Rangers beat Bonham on Thursday and will host Freeman Marion Freeman Academy on Halloween. In class 9A, top seeded wall is the team to watch. The Eagles are 9-0 and have a good chance to go all the way. Fill up the sixth seed at the bottom of the bracket. And also in 9A, keep your eye on Dupree. They beat ups or they upset Harding County Bison last night in the first round. In 9B, there's not a whole lot happening. West River Kadoka is the sixth seed and will play at St. Mary's. In All Nations A, Pine Ridge will host Mapialuta a week from today. We have no final from that little wound in Cheyenne Eagle Butte game. The winner of that will play Winnebago. And in All Nations B, Crazy Horse will play Lower Brule, White River, and Marty play at six tonight.